Hey guys, it's Chris Greenwood here, also known as Manifest. Thanks so much for watching this video series. Again, I'm on tour right now, and so I just want to shoot some videos in some different cool little venues here. This is the House of Blues Chicago, so really excited to play here today, tonight, uh, opening up for Scott Stapp again, and so super pumped. I flew home just for a couple days to be with the family and then back out on the road, and you know, I'm just so thankful to be able to do music full time and that I'm at a point where I can actually even afford to go home and see my family when I'm on on an off day because sometimes when you have off days you just stay out because you can't afford it and um, so I'm very thankful for that and I just kind of want to show you guys this venue because it's just kind of like a famous spot so I'm just at the console here so I'm just giving you guys kind of a behind the scenes whatever take my face out of the bar stools are still up I'll give you guys just another look here of this place it's pretty majestic so really pumped to be uh, playing here tonight but um, I just want to talk in this video before we jump into the YouTube marketing stuff is that you always want to focus on putting your fans first and putting the music first and I know I talked to you guys about monetizing your music and making money which is super important but there comes a time first where you've got to build it before they come and what I mean by that is you've got to make great music you've got to market it you've got to sometimes give it away for free sometimes you got to play for free you've got to get it out there to the point you got that momentum and then you start charging for it. But the cool thing is, is with YouTube, with Spotify, all these things, specifically YouTube, is that, look, you don't even have to you know, try and get them to pay. You just gotta get them to listen. And so some of the things that I teach you guys and being consistent and you know, monetizing your videos and getting out there, you, know, you don't even have to try and sell anything. You just gotta put yourself out there, share your story, and just market for free and do the work. So what I'm trying to say is just that don't focus on the money right now. Focus on just getting your music out to as many people as you can, and that sometimes is just investing for a while. That's why I say don't quit your job just yet. Just keep taking that money, invest it, and market and learn, invest in more, learn more. You know, take the courses and what things and that I'm teaching you guys. Apply it, build it, build it, build it, and then all of a sudden you're gonna have so much momentum, and then your music will start making you a great income. So don't put the cart before the horse. Is what I'm saying is because so many artists they just want to make you know all this money right away but they don't realize it takes time and that's okay just accept hey I'm gonna be in this for like you know for the long term if it's gonna take a year to build this thing up it's gonna take two three years I got a three-year plan let's go you know I'm at a stage at my career right now where I have a three-year plan and that's totally okay because I, I'm already here well I want to be here and that's gonna take time and wherever you're at it takes time and just enjoy the journey the key to being successful on YouTube is to be consistent and that's consistency you know I love the quote what gets scheduled gets done and so when it comes to building your YouTube channel you've got to decide what your schedule is going to be for Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday like what day or days are you gonna post new content is it gonna be every Fridays is it going to be every Monday or every Saturday? Are you going to do, you know, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Whatever it is, you want to be consistent with it and stay on schedule because your fans start to get used to you coming to um, coming to your channel, right? So like say my channel's youtube.com uh, slash manifest videos, right? So if, if my fans are getting used to coming to that channel and they know that every Wednesday I release a new video or every Friday and then they come on a Wednesday or they come on a Friday and there's nothing there they're gonna get disappointed and they're like what the heck man it's a, it's a level of trust that you are building with your fans and if you don't show up they're gonna feel like man like I, I had this you know schedule and I planned to come see you I opened up my iPhone I went there and you weren't there it's the same thing like with podcasts because a lot of people listen to podcasts and it's like if you don't show up on the day that you normally say you are people kinda of feel like hey man you kinda of broke my trust and so you wanna get your fans used to you always posting and being consistent with it doesn't mean it has to be the same thing all the time and that's where it comes down to your content strategy and what it is that you're going to post, whether it's going to be a behind the scenes, live footage, music videos, lyric videos, live chats. And it doesn't even have to be weekly. It could be once a month. The point is, is you just want to be consistent with it. Consistency is what wins compared to other 
artist. So I encourage you, pull out your calendar, pull out your your your, your iCal here, whatever it is you use on your computer, or your iPhone, and set um you know your your content strategy and build it out and decide, hey, we're gonna post either once a week, every two weeks, every three weeks, or just maybe every month. But whatever it is, be consistent and let your fans know. And here's just some ideas. I'm gonna talk about these in, in another video of some ideas of what you can post and start planning your your calendar. But the point again is be consistent.